All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. So today I am gonna show you how to operate the HVAC system in a Porsche 911. A lot of you have been asking, you know, there's many different controls that the HVAC system in these older cars have. How do you operate it? So I'm gonna give you a small tutorial on how to operate the switches, the levers, the pull switches, and even the rotating dial that's in the center console. Well, it's on the floor. So let's get to it. So the first place we're gonna start is the engine bay because the engine bay is where all these AC components are located. Now, I am by no means a mechanic, so I am not one to advise you on mechanical expertise, but I do know a few things here and there in regards to how this system works because I've lived with the car for, you know, the, the better part of three years now. So let's start with what we see in front of us. We have this entire system is an AC condenser. It's a wonderful system. Luckily for me, this was completely new and it appears to be new. All the fins are in really good shape. This system works really well for what it is. This car, we have to keep in mind, was not designed with the intention of being a luxury car that has really cold AC like an American SUV. This is a car that was first and foremost a racing engine, and these were considered afterthoughts. Now this is your AC compressor. This is also a brand new system. Luckily for me, the owner of this car, when he did all this work, did all this work prior to my ownership. So luckily for me, I was able to get this car in really good shape. And that engine bay looks clean as a whistle. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we have our center console controls. Now this over here is gonna be your fan speed and it's gonna be done in increments of three. And this is controlled by a sliding lever. It either goes from left to right. So in order to get the maximum cold air, you're gonna put it at this level over here. Normally I keep it off so I can have minimum noise when I'm driving, if I'm talking to one of my passengers. And then if you wanna slide it across, the other one, we have a defroster. Now, this is going to be the first of many defrosters. We have one defroster here, and we have one defroster on the other side. Now, this is going to be a defroster for the lower part of the vehicle, so your floor. It's going to be a defroster for the upper part of the cabin. And then we have another sliding lever that controls, and you could hear the actuators in the back. You just hear tons of crazy noises. On the lower part of the floor, climate control we have a snowflake a fan speed and an additional defroster now we saw one two and this is the third one this is your fan speed control the fan speed one two three and four so it's going to be in divisions and increments of four and then i keep the snowflake on the coldest part because this cabin can get very hot especially when you're driving this car during the summer months. All right, so, so far we have seen the center climate control over here with sliding levers. We have rotating dials down here below, and over here we have a defrost. Now there's a little button over here that's not a button, that's just a display panel telling you what these things mean. If you wanna turn the defroster on, you lift up, and that's gonna control the left side of the cabin. And then if you wanna control the right side of the cabin, you lift up here, and what this does is, just like a Volkswagen Beetle, this will funnel the hot air from the air-cooled engine into the cabin, and it gets extremely hot. Like, no joke, this thing can warm up a car in two-degree weather. And then we have an additional defroster over here, which works in conjunction with these levers, and it's going to be in increments of three. It's another defroster, so if you put this on three and you lift up these levers, depending on how far, if you put it at the halfway point, it'll give you about half the air, 50% of the air. If you put it up all the way, it gives you 100% of the air, and then you could just push it down, and you get, you get the idea. And these are the three locations for your climate control. This car doesn't have the greatest air conditioning system, but the heating system, you don't need heated steering wheels, you don't need heated seats, you don't need any of that stuff. 
between this section over here, between the center console and the center panel right here next to the Porsche Classic radio, this car can get very steamy and it can get somewhat cold only for like the first 15 minutes and then the temperature will drop to lukewarm even on the coldest setting. That is how you use all the air conditioning and HVAC systems here in a Porsche 911. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. Hopefully I explained this well. If I made any mistakes, leave comments and criticize. It's part of the fun. So I'll talk to you guys later. Take care and I will see you soon. Hopefully when I'm driving this car because that's the whole point. Thank you very much, guys. See you soon.